Hi everybody, welcome for this new video I'm talking about the OnePlus One reviewing a, a new ROM which is the Chinese stock ROM from uh, OnePlus One Plus One. It's the Color OS One. So um, I've decided to try it because uh, I think uh, it's a ROM that has many great characteristics. Um, so let's go see what we have here so the screen lock the lock screen is pretty much the same uh, as uh, the android stock one uh, just a, a slight unlock so here it's the main uh, main screen so as you can see um, first first view it's just the icon set which is different but there is not many things different you can see we have the same um, same disposition, the same uh, menu and everything. Uh, what is interesting about this ROM that is that uh, is performance uh, under uh, Antutu benchmark, which we'll go right uh, first. No, first we're gonna see which version I'm running. So settings, is it French? So it's mult. It supports uh, multi-language settings, so it's quite good. Uh, so it's here. So it's color always. So it's not the beta version uh, 2.0, it's the 1.2 version and the Android 4.3. Um, it's a great version, it's stable. You have many great features, like if you slide the notification barrier, you have the gesture panel. Um, I don't really see the purpose of it, but e easier. What is great for me it's, uh, is this... Um, uh, this panel. Um, oh, sorry, the light is a bit too too much. I think. Yes, I think it's better. Um, I think it's it's great to have all the um, all the toggles right here, so that um, you can um, you can directly without going into settings uh, choose uh, uh, what you want to do. So let's head to Antutu score, which I have to say I was really impressed by it. So it's under V4 version. Yes, it's really close to CM11S. And uh, I'm really impressed uh, by this score. Uh, it means that the, the, the ROM is well set for the for this uh, for the, the for the OnePlus, and um, I'm pretty satisfied. So now, what is interesting about this ROM? Is that uh, okay? It's made for Chinese market, but you have a lot of pre-installed apps, which are I have to say maybe interesting. I don't dig a lot, but it's interesting. So you have the phone app, uh, you have the contact, message, email, clock, weather, cloud note, music, videos, uh, camera app. We we'll see it. Gallery. Um, it's pretty much the same as uh, Android. Chrome, uh, you have uh, lock now, so you lock the screen, double tap to wake up, not necessary, a file manager, settings, backup and restoration, uh, so you can back up your phone and restore it lately, so um, it doesn't seem, um, in, uh, I, I, I've seen, it, maybe it's not necessary, but it, it, it's here, and you know. I think it's interesting to have this. You have Kingsoft's office. Uh, I think it's close to office. Um, team, you have a team manager. The main thing of this, of, of the ColorOS things is that uh, the team manager, you have a lot of team on it. And you can download it, you can modify everything, like maybe Cyanogen Mod 11S, but <clears throat> it's a Chinese one. It's really poppy uh, teams. Uh, so you have tools here, no disturb mode, so you can uh, select um, no disturb mode, calling notification is not from the wireless, will be muted automatically, so it's some kind of mods that allows you to not be disturbed. You have a power management app, you have a power saving, mo power saving mode, and you have also the um, used uh, already two hours and a half and estimated availability. 33 hours. I think it's good to have that because at the beginning of the day you, you saw 12 hours living with uh, 
12 hours left and you say okay i'm gonna do my day and you can enter in power saving mode which uh, allow the 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 screen to be um less bright and everything it's good um uh, i don't know the english for that it's uh it's to save data so maybe to reduce that uh consumption encryption tools I haven't tried it. You can encrypt the application. Uh, you can enter in guest mode. Uh, I don't know what is that, this app. One plus turner. Uh, I don't know what it is. Anti harassment. I think it's to blacklist some number. Information security. Uh, be working on permission of template sequence. Okay. Uh, so it allows you to manage uh, your app. In order to block GPS uh, allo allocation, uh, so you can um, set you can block certain app to use your uh, GPS your information. It's routed uh, region parameter, and I think it's that's it. So as you can see, it has all the Google apps, latest one. So um, all these apps. Are there okay on the market on the Play Store? You can find uh, many other apps, but they are there and they're good. So uh, I'm a bit late, six minutes. Uh, let's set to camera. Yes, because everybody has seen this camera is crazy. Um, it's crazy. Yes and no. Uh, maybe there is a lot of features, uh, but yes, it's taking great pictures. But maybe people are saying that because um, I don't know why. It's great, yes, but not as amazing as people are saying. Uh, you have um, yes, you have some features. I uh, so that you can uh, shut down the shutter. You have scene mode. You have uh, image size, so thirty megapixel. Uh, you have uh, so if you go into video mode, you can go to 4K, slow mo. Uh, so it's pretty much the same as um, the 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 Sienna Model 11S uh, one. Just two minutes remaining. So conclusion about this: great ROM, really stable, a lot of performance. Um, I haven't. The, I haven't used GPS or NFC, but I think it's working well because uh, the color is wrong is uh, on Chinese one plus one. So everything I think is working well. So if you're satisfied by this video, please share it, subscribe to the sh to the channel, and now you can visit my brand new website, which is vitostech.blogspot.com, uh, which uh, where I'm reviewing a lot of things. It's just the beginning. I'm Hoping that uh, we go faster, and can uh, that I will be testing more and more apps. Um, thanks, guys, and see you there.